What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. It is 6pm on Thursday, and uh, I can imagine that we don't have much today. I don't know why. I, I know what we are going to have, and it's going to be great, isn't it? We're going to have marquee matchups, so that the objectives aren't there yet. Let me go back in. Um... We're gonna we're gonna have marquee matchups. So yeah, there's nothing new for objectives. There's nothing new for milestones. But what SBCs are there? I know there's a few more league SBCs that are like dropping out as well. So for upgrades, nada. For icons, nada. For leagues, do we have the new leagues back? No, we do not. And so what do we have? Ooh, oh, showdowns. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that is very good. Showdown Tiago Silva. Oh, what a card. What a card. Imagine that gets upgraded to a 96. What a card. 84 stands a bit meh, but for a centre back, not the biggest deal in the world. Defending brilliant, physical, otherwise brilliant. Dribbling for a centre-back, brilliant. Pace, brilliant. Passing, brilliant. What a card that is. And we were just talking about uh, the Brazil versus Argentina as well. And let me know in, a, in the chat, in the comment section below, guys. Who do you think is going to win between Brazil and Argentina? I think Argentina are going to win. Not because I think they're the better squad. I think Brazil have the better team and, and generally are stronger, right? But you know the debate that rages on between Messi and Ronaldo... Who's the best? Why are they the best? What accolades have or haven't they won? Ronaldo has an international competition under his belt. Messi doesn't. I think the stars are aligned for Messi to win this. And he's controlled Argentina. He's dominated for Argentina. He's carried Argentina. I think Argentina are going to win because it's written in the stars. Uh, there is also a 94 Correa. He's four-star, four-star. Isn't this his second special card that's not performance-related here? I mean, that, again, is a very good card, right? Strength is... Bit mare. Stamina brilliant. Aggression brilliant. His dribbling in general is brilliant with a little low composure, but not the end of the world. Shooting fantastic. Pace fantastic. Passing fantastic. That is a very good card as well. And one of these cards will get upgraded to a 96. That is very, very nice. How much are they going to cost? An 83. And an Oh, man, that hurts. An 83 and an 87. And Thiago said, that's a lot, isn't it? And then an 83 and an... Oh, man, even that's bad. Holy moly. They are expensive, man. What else have we got? Summer Stars upgrade is there. Throwback marquee matchups for a rare players pack. Mexico against United States. Germany against Paraguay. Sweden against Senegal and Brazil versus Belgium for your rare players pack. And that's that. So, Summer Stars upgrade is also there. And it's going to cost an 86 rated squad with 30 chemistry. That is expensive, man. That is that is like like bad expensive, you know what I mean? I oof. I was expecting an 85 rated with a with a team of the season. Or an inform. I did not expect that. I'm only at an 84 rated here. I'm going to have to decide which special cards I'm happy to get rid of. Um, I mean, I, I've got some reds that I've just picked up recently that I could get rid of. Homan could go. The pool could go. Mountain Barnes, I'd want to keep. Who did I just get today? I got, I got uh, Tagliafico today, didn't I? Rafa could. Uh, I've already got a Rafa in there, never mind. Oscar can go. Where is my uh, Oscar? Let's pop that Oscar in there. That's still not an 86. My word, man. There we go. That's what I'm doing. Boom. The pool's going in. 
the Summer Stars pack is done. We're going to open the Summer Stars pack and then we're going to go and have a look at the in-game stats of the two uh, showdown players and have a look what Chemstar would be the best. There's only five that you want from this. There's only five that are more expensive than this. Ronaldo, Messi, uh, Richarlison, Modric. One other. I can't remember who the other one is. De Bruyne. They're the five that are more expensive. I would love to pack a 99 Ronaldo. EA, that would be very nice of you. Thank you very much. Portuguese. <laughs> All right. Oh, for Christ. Don't be left back. Okay. At least it's not a duplicate. But Locatelli's worth 100k. Now, it's a very, very good card. Don't get me wrong. It's a very good card. Um, it's a very good card. But it's not worth anything. Because the market for specials is on the floor. It's a very good card, right? Like, you can't even deny that. Four-star skill moves as well. But it's just not worth as much as the pack. The pack, I think the pack's coming in at like 170, I think. Um, off the off the top of my head. Let's have a look at the older uh, preview packs real quick. I have nothing in that. There really was nothing in that. At least I didn't get a duplicate. I've packed like five or six of them now. All of the worst ones, of course. Um oh walk out. Go on. Go on then, go on then. Belgium, goalkeeper Thibaut Courtois. I wait, is I don't even know if that. Yeah, okay. This this one this one's worth buying. So we'll take this one, and then we'll sell Courtois. We we'll just pop these guys up here now, and let's get a second. Oh, that's the first time we've had a preview pack that's actually been uh, worthwhile, isn't it? The price on the pack based on the average price of the team, and with Messi and CR7 bringing it up, it's going to be very expensive. Yeah. Yeah, it's, too, it's very bad. And then a 100k pack. And then we're going to go into uh, Footbin and have a look at uh, these two new players. Oh, dear. Save, save your money. Save your... Oh, my, I mean, what? An 85, an 82, 381s and 180, and then 79s and... Oh, my days. That is one of the worst. I know we've got Icardi in there, but other than Icardi, that is one of the worst 100k packs. I have ever seen. Ever. All right. I'm assuming as well, and I assume correctly, that the uh, Festival of F Summer Path of Glory cards aren't upgraded yet. So, Thiago Silva, guys. I mean, you could put an engine on him. Um, juice up that pace, that dribbling. His defending and physical is already so good. Juice up that passing. You could go with an anchor, which is probably the, the best choice. Um, maxed out defending. Great physicals and great pace and makes him a 98 rated center back face cam oh the face cam's not there oh my bad what about now <laughs> um yeah so you know tiago silva but if you're like a, a true pace whore and you just want that pace just give him a shadow right again max out defending 99 sprint speed 97 acceleration with that with those dribbling stats he's going to be very 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 good uh, he is also going to be very, very, very expensive. Um, Correa as well. So yeah, he had the team of the season objective player. Not that much of an upgrade. It's, it's reasonable. But um, I think, again, for him, I think maybe a Hawk would be would be quite reasonable. Um, but I think an engine is probably going to be the one on him as well. Top tier pace, top tier dribbling, top tier passing, very good shooting and good physicals. Uh, I, I like it. Um, or you, you could give him a Maestro to get that free kick accuracy up. Um, or a marksman if you want to boost the physicals get that strength up by 10 get that dribbling up there and get that shooting up there a lot of choices for him i personally would probably go with um i'd probably go with the hawk get his shooting up to 99 his pace almost there uh dribbling's already very good physical is very good passing is very good so i would go with the hawk um and uh again he's also very expensive and and when we look i think i think they're going to get downvoted massively because of the expense Okay, they're upgrade. They're actually upvoted massively. The Summer Stars upgrade is downvoted massively because it's a ripoff, right? It's an 86-rated squad. Let's go to one of the icons. Um, let's go to uh, Lothar Mateus and have a look at what these price points are going to be. So an 83-rated squad is 50k right now, right? An 87-rated squad is 191k. So Thiago Silva is about 240k. Do you know what? That's actually a very good price um, for a, an end game Premier League Brazilian centre back, right? That's not a bad price at all. 
Um, and then the 86 rated squad. So for Correa, you're looking at about 220. I think I think attackers are just far more common than defenders for that high level high end. So I don't know if I necessarily think that's great value. I don't think it's necessarily bad value. He's okay, but it does mean that the SBC pack is coming in at about 170k for an 86 rated squad. It's a little less chemistry. Um, so maybe 160, 165, something like that. But when you look at the players that you can get from it, and you look at these Summer Stars players, you have got Romero, considerably less valuable. Bravo, Christensen, Dumfries, and Spinozola, considerably less valuable. Locatelli, Calvin Phillips, and Isaac, considerably less valuable. You've got Sheik, who was an SBC. You've then got Laporte, who's a little bit more valuable by like what, 70k, 80k. And then you've got Modric, Richarlison, De Bruyne, Messi, Ronaldo. If you hit one of these five, you're laughing, right? If you hit Laporte, it, it's like one of those ones where it's like, okay, that's okay. Anything else is just a, a massive L, like a massive L, because they're just worth so little. It's crazy. I didn't expect it to be that expensive. Um, Unless you've got like an abundance of fodder and you're basically at the point where you're done with the game and you don't really care, I would probably steer clear of this pack. I don't think it's worth that. I, don't, I just don't think it's good value. And Summers, what the hell? Um, anyway, that's going to be the end of the video for today. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, I will see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.